Yeah, we're going, guys. Mick here from Not Cartel. Back with another kick-ass beer review. I'm going to review the fourth instalment from the hops that was sent to me from a friend in the United States. This one is the Paradigm. Paradigm is a meaning of ideal. Um, for example, the ideal woman, um, or the ideal hop, uh, runs in around about 8 to 11 percent alpha acids. 8 to 11 AA um, growers notes and descriptors are herbal stone fruit tropical spice and bright bright uh, probably along the lines of when we hear the descriptor bright normally means bright melon um, uh, very ripe sort of um, very lush sort of flavors of melon um, and the perfect subs are SARS, Mosaic, Citra and Galaxy. Now, I feel that this hop's probably going to develop in a beer where you would sub all four of those to get the same sort of descriptors as, um, as the Paradigm. Uh, mainly because of the herbal, the spice and the stone fruit. Um, and obviously bright melon that you get from those four subs. So SARS, Mosaic, Citra and Galaxy. Uh, would probably combine to make something um, like the Paradigm. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. P-A-R-A-D-I-G-M. Paradigm. 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 Meaning ideal. Before I pour it up, we've got brewers descriptors as well. What brewers pick up, uh, particularly on the aroma and sub palette uh, descriptors. So things like cotton candy, bubble gum, spice, melon, um, mint, peach, pear, and dank. Um, so the, the dank cotton candy and the bubble gums, um, the ones that I'm, I'm sort of really interested in finding, um, sort of picking out from, from this particular hop. So we'll get it poured up. Um, replaced two more lots of lines today so obviously switching around the uh, the taps again um, we've now replaced um, and cleaned and sealed changed out some of the seals I think are no good in the taps at the moment there's one there that just wouldn't it's a, it's a bit it was a bit stiff and wouldn't seal properly um, had to sort of give it a jiggle and sort of play around with it a bit. All right, so there it is once again. Same recipes, uh, two batches split across four brews, uh, four small batches, so that we could uh, we could hop with um, with these uh, with these four hops. So same appearance as the other three: the Michigan Copper, the Mackinac and the Wurttemberg um, are the three we've had so far this being the fourth Paradigm um, presents exactly the same nice two finger head beautiful colour is hazy is a hazy pale Dank, 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 dank is dank is the word. Um, peach, slight melon, sort of behind that. The dank, dank really sort of jumps out of this. Um, dank is the main thing. Dank's what you're gonna you're gonna smell. Dank, but people say that to me. There's no such word as dank when it comes to hops. Um, but the big companies want to put in a descriptor of dank, then I guess it's dank. Um, or diesel, fuely. Um, dank can also mean um, dope-like, uh, sort of cannabis and, and resinous. It's definitely that. Ooh, smells nice, and I, I, I love a dank hop, so. Um, 
Let's see what else we get from this after, after we taste it. I'm getting the bubble gum. Not so much. I don't think maybe cotton candy bubble gum is sort of within the same descriptor, but it's definitely more of a bubble gum to me. It's like a um, oh, I wouldn't say um, like a Harbour Bubba original. Sort of got that to it, but more of a like a strawberry sort of maybe the cotton candy, uh, the real sweetness that comes from it. Is that a trickery of the mind over the palate? Slight mint. It has got that spice. So I can see where they're saying that you get things like your SARS, Mosaic, Citra, and Galaxy coming across um, for me it's more mosaic and galaxy a little, a little bit of citra I'm actually starting to lose interest in citra to be honest um, particularly because all these other new hops are coming through um, and the same way I feel same with some of those um, you know like the galaxy the mosaic the Simcoe's all the original sort of hops that were big coming out of America we're starting to see these new ones coming through with added descriptors added sort of stuff going on there so definitely I'm picking up like a cotton candy the bubble gum the spice and dank on the aroma and um, the slight bit of mint um, the melon peach and pear I feel is it's sort of just there off the side of that dankness and um, so it's not much, so much in the flavour but yeah it's definitely for me I'm getting that sort of slight mint bubble gum spice on the on the flavour um, there's a lot going on it's not a, a, a heavy malt sort of type recipe it does allow the hops to come through really well so it, it's a solid recipe for experimentation and I really like that so um, a paradigm am I seeing a three hop combo possibly the four hop combo using all four in the same style of recipe exact same recipe um, I, I could definitely say yes so now it's a matter of trying to work out um, where we're going to place them if we do go along that, that that road with just making up the next one a full batch um, with all four um, I'm, I'm really sort of leaning towards doing the Michigan uh, sorry the Mackinac and the Wurttemberg um, just on its own in a, in a beer trying to sort of phase that one in and out I think this hop with those two, this one at the end, the Wurttemberg, probably at a, at a hop stand, and maybe the uh, the Mackinac um, around about the 30 minute mark, and then maybe bring it in at about 10, um, and then a hop stand with the with the uh, the Mackinac, and finally um, maybe this in a hop stand at 80 degrees as well for 10 minutes along with the with the Mackie Knack um, and most probably this one for a dry hop so lots of things to think about when it comes to these hops very very grateful that I've had the chance to, to try all four of those I've got my finger on a couple of others that I've spotted uh, I'd really like to try out um, so the trials will continue cheers